We're in Balsall Heath, which is a neighbourhood immediately to the south of Birmingham city centre. And we've been chosen by the government to be one of the front runners to write its own neighbourhood plan. We've been working with lots of different organisations and groups, residents, housing associations, schools and colleges. And my colleague Simone in particular has been working with the business community. I'm specifically looking at um, the local businesses, the consultation with the businesses to really um, take from them exactly what they want from the neighbourhood plan. Well, I'm a local trader and I am very pleased that we are involved with the neighbourhood plan. I think this gives us a ownership and this gives us a more confidence that actually we are involved. Tonight we discuss few things. First of all, the most important thing, the big issue here is the parking. We need to educate our traders and our customers and also we need to see more signs. We need more lighting, we need more floral displays and also we need to improve our footpaths. There's a lot of traders there that I've seen today. Uh, I wouldn't know that they've got a shop on Ladybrook Road because I'm in the shop. So it gives, I don't know, a feeling of togetherness on Ladybrook Road, which is quite nice. We've been trying to meet the needs of both residents and traders in the plan, which, which are different but maybe complementary, and also talking to the housing associations and exploring the possibilities for building some new and different kinds of housing. There is a challenge of uh, how to house the local population in appropriate housing and there is a particular issue here of large extended families who want to live uh, together in a large house. The families are bigger and there is a close-knit family connection here so they want to live together. Take me, my children want to live with me, I tell them go and live separately but they want to live with me so I will need a bigger house. Mosley and District work a lot with the Borsal Heath Forum and this is an initiative we're particularly keen on because it's about the future of Borsal Heath. So we're working with our local communities, the Borsal Heath Forum and other agencies, looking at the housing stock, looking at the local area to see what we can do to improve that and build a plan for the future. Residents have wanted um, a nicer neighbourhood, a cleaner neighbourhood, um, one where there's more open spaces concentrating on, on the environment, just really making people feel that pride which was lost all those years ago and make our youngsters feel that inspiration to be able to achieve uh, much more. We are We've spent many years um, helping the neighbourhood to become more cohesive, confident, um, safe um, and, and bright and green. But we've decided that having improved the spirit of the place, we also now need to improve the physical fabric of the place. There are several key themes. One is the way that we move about Balsall Heath. Uh, at the moment, parts are very congested. We'd like to make Balsall Heath less reliant on the private motor car. I work for St Paul's Community Development Trust. Uh, for the neighbourhood, some of the interests we have in common with people, the Mosley Road. It is seriously dilapidated. The traffic management is another thing that we and the residents, everybody has in common. There are just too many cars all over the place behaving disgracefully. Part of our agenda is making Balsall Heath a more green and sustainable place and amongst other things that involves an energy plan, both with respect to old buildings, improving their energy performance standards, and setting standards for new buildings which are yet to be built in, in Borsal Heath to make it uh, a much more energy self-sufficient place. Well this is a long-term process so we need to change Borsal Heath which was built in the coal age um, and has kind of survived the oil and gas age. We need to get it moving into the solar age and we need to be generating a lot more of our own electricity and heat I think really the aim should be that people in the area feel a lot more control over how much energy they use, um, they can see where it's coming from, they understand the reasons why we need to conserve energy um, and we're a lot less frightened of the future. Well I've been here for 30 years when um, in those days Balsall Heath was the place you last wanted to live in. So high turnover of population, people leaving whenever they could and newcomers coming from the four corners of the earth who couldn't find anywhere else except here. And it's taken us 30 years, but we have transformed it. This place is special, it touches you. Um, it's not an experience I'll ever forget. 
It's an overwhelming amount of community spirit. See, I came to Borsleith in 1964. I went to school here, did all my education. <laughs> it's the community spirit. It's the different, you know, colours and creed. And we all live happily together. And that's what we like. All the different cultures come together. And in 20 years from now, we'd like to see Borsal Heath uh, a vibrant, attractive and much more prosperous place than it is at the moment. We've baked cake. The plan would now put the icing on that cake and enable us all to uh, kind of live happily ever after. <laughs>